Good morning, happy Wednesday, January 6, 2021. Can you believe that it's already 2021? Oh. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started in our literacy packet. Grab the one that's got the letters around the outside. It says week 15. And we're turning to page 13. Okay, it looks like this. Write your name right up at the top. And we're talking about connections. So when you read a story, you can make connections to things that are in the story. So Peter really liked to do things in the snow. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a picture of what Peter liked to do in the snow here, and then draw a picture of what you like to do in the snow, and then we're going to write about it. So I know that Peter, he made a snowman. draw a little snowman here and he also made a snow angel and he also liked to walk up and down the hill make footprints so I just put those three things so snowman snow angel footprints nothing complicated you can color yours you can make yours way more complicated if you would like to. That's totally up to you. I'm trying to do mine relatively quickly so that it's easier for you to keep pace. And then I like to ski, so I'm going to draw a slope with maybe a tree and my skis kind of like this and I'm standing on them with my boots and then I'm leaning forward arms, my helmet on, my arms holding the poles, so there's me getting ready to go down the ski slope, okay, and then I'm going to say, I To ski in the snow. Have you ever been skiing? It takes some practice. It's not super easy, but if you've ridden a bike or if you know how to rollerblade or roller skate, you could probably learn how to ski in the snow pretty quickly. Okay, when you're done with that, Turn to page, looks like 14. Peter played in the snow. So this is the sentence that is written correctly. Peter played in the snow. There's a period at the end. There's a capital letter at the front. All the words are spelled correctly. So we're going to give that one a little check mark. Looks good. Peter played in the snow. Oh my gosh, that looks weird. What's, what's wrong with this first letter here? It's not capitalized. we got to get that capitalized. Okay, that's a name and the first word in a sentence. Played, play. There's something funny about this E. Yeah, it's capitalized, but it doesn't need to be, right? Peter played. So we got the little lowercase e here. That makes a lot more sense like this. Knee, the knee. Wait a second, that's supposed to be in. I N. so those letters need to be switched around. So I'm going to cross that out and write I-N. And then the looks pretty good. Snow has a, a capital O here. I don't think that's supposed to be capitalized. So I'm going to cross that out, put a little case O, and then does it have a period at the end? Mm -hmm. So that's everything for that sentence. Now looking at the bottom here, uh-oh, again, the first word is not capitalized, so we got to get that P capitalized. Peter played. Now this word is spelled correctly, but the first letter of this word is capitalized, and it doesn't really need to be. So we're going to put a lowercase p right next to it. So Peter played in te snow. Te, I think, yep, look at that. The H and the E are flipped here. we got to fix those. H 
and an E. It should be T-H-E, not T-E-H. And then down here, the word snow, the S does not need to be capitalized, and it needs a period at the end. So you will put a little S there, and a period at the end. And once you've made those corrections, you are done. Now we're turning to page 15. It says, packed. Press something tightly together. That is one of our vocabulary words. So write about a place you've been that was packed full of people. Maybe the school bus. Um, maybe you were at, uh, you know, living out where we live, there's not a lot of experiences where you would be packed into a place because there's not a lot of people out here. But if you went to the city, maybe you've been to Costco. Sometimes Costco can become really, really busy. Um, let's see. I went to a music concert once and it was general admission down on the floor. And so it was literally shoulder to shoulder. Everybody was like this and their shoulders were touching other people super close. Now with COVID, we would not do that. <laughs> so I'll tell a story about um, the music concert was packed full of people. So that's my sentence. If you can't think of anything, you're welcome to copy down my sentence, okay? When you're done with that, I'm gonna turn to page 16, and we're gonna pull this page out of the packet, and we're gonna sort WR and PH words. Okay, so we're gonna take this out and we're gonna cut it out. forget to cut out the top part here. Those are kind of your like your column titles. So we're going to create two columns, one for WR words, one for PH words, and these go at the top of those columns. Got it? So don't throw those away when you are putting your paper scraps in the garbage. Don't forget to put your paper scraps in the garbage because parents don't like it when you leave paper clippings all over the floor. Nobody really likes it. And it's just really good habit to be tidy and clean. All right. So I'm going to draw a line down the middle of my paper, just like this. It doesn't have to be a straight line. On one side, I'm going to glue my pH title like that. And then on the other side, I'm going to glue my WR title. Just like this. Okay, now I'm going to go through my pictures. This picture here is a picture of someone wrapping a present. Wrap. Wrap is a WR word, so that's going to go under WR. Okay. W-R, wrap. If you want extra bonus points, you can write the word W-R-A-P -A next to it. Now, the next picture I'm looking at is a graph. Ends with a sound. It is a P-H word. So I'm going to put that under the telephone, and I'm going to write the word graph next to it. Next one. This crazy looking bird is called a pheasant. Pheasant starts with a PH. Okay, pheasant. That's going to go under the phone also and under the graph. And pheasant is P H E A S A N T. Pheasant. A very strange word. 
All right, we have a wrench. Wrench starts with a WR. That is W R E N C H. Wrench. This is wreath. Wreath. Oh, why didn't I think of that one earlier? I love wreaths. Wreath is W R E A T H. Okay, right here. Wreath. The next one is. Hmm. Oh, this one is pharmacy. Pharmacy is where you go to get medicine if you're sick. Pharmacy. P H A R M A C Y. Pharmacy. I bought hand sanitizer from the pharmacy one time. Now, this one is ring it out. Like ring or like twist the water out. Ring it dry. W R I N G. And then this one is what do you think? Photograph. For this assignment, we're going to write photo. Okay. So I will hold this up. You can pause, copy down what I did. If you don't do the writing part, that's okay. That's just extra. All right, turning the page now. Oh, that is the last page for our work for Wednesday. So after that, you're done with your AM learning.